Ladies and gentlemen, Salam Mike, Avi Lou, welcome to Raw Reviews, the Raw Stew, baby, 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 I like it raw. I like that. That was good, huh? Yeah. We'll keep that up for any of these series we do. We did protein bars, <laughs> and it was terrible. But now we're doing energy drinks, which are the only two supplements I really use. I take creatine monohydrate on the side, but these are the two fitness things I enjoy. And now we're going to give you a real, like it raw, energy drink review. I won. Yes. Okay. So, uh, most of these are calorie free. A couple of them we couldn't find the calorie free or on the list were with calories. So, um, we'll take that into account. But mostly, we can't really give you a review on the energy, right? Because it's not going to hit us in time. We're just going to sip. Yeah. So, right now, we're purely going to go on taste. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like these tier videos, be sure to subscribe. Comment below what your favorite energy drink of all time is. Be sure to follow Avi Lou on Instagram. And we're going to dive in. We're also ranking them on the uh, scale. Of yeah, hit them. Trash, okay, solid, amazing, and god tier. Sure, I'll start with Jocko. It says zero crash. What is it? No sugar. No, real real energy, zero crash. It's 10 calorie, one carb. Um, yeah. I don't, are we just going to... Yeah, do it. Sip it. Nice carbonation oh, pop. Wow. That matters. Did you see that? <laughs> we got orange on this guy. No A food. little dull. Not as carbonated as the pop. Yeah. But not bad. There's a weird aftertaste. It's a little dull, right? It's kind of flat. Like It is. Um, uh, it, it tastes like, um, and it probably is. You ever bite, maybe I'm just a weird kid. You ever bite an orange peel? Yeah. It kind of tastes like that. Well, that's very bitter. Yeah, kind of like that, this but like... It doesn't taste bitter. Not bitter, but kind of like a... Like a this is very... Like that. You, you ever see um, Jar Jar Binks when he gets tongue electrocuted? No. When his tongue gets electrocuted, flopped out, he can't control it no more. No. That's what it feels like. <laughs> it's very flat. Uh, the sugar, what is it? The, the sweetener? Yeah. The very it's like dull. artificial sweetener yeah. taste. But not, some of those taste crazy sweet and this mm -hmm. doesn't. Yeah. So like, I guess if you don't like a sweet drink, this yeah. might be it. It isn't. It isn't. Almost like in a tea sweet. range, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It kind of has a tea. Because it's not super carbonated, which I don't really love super car carbonated drinks. But. I'm the opposite. I love carbonated drinks. So it's not very carbonated and it's not very like super flavor forward, like yeah. artificial flavor screaming. So solid for me. And there is a solid rating there. I don't know what you'd put it, but I'd probably put it solid. I'd like a little bit sweeter. I'd like a little bit more carbonated. I'd like a little bit more caffeine, but uh, I might sip on this and do some like creative work or some admin work. I think what do you think? Solid, yeah. yeah, solid. I want to test it out for its actual like effects well then i'm keeping it yeah you can have it <laughs> i'll take it with me after. so now we're trying the rainstorm clean energy peach nectarine that sounds good um i guess we'll dive into a couple ingredients just because right it okay. reminds me of Villani. three carbs yeah the, the the bottle is a little again more uh, natural looking although their logo is very 1990s wwe no high fructose corn syrup no artificial flavors it says phd formulated I'm trying to look at um, caffeine. On this? Yeah. For sure? Damn. That's pretty good. I'd say 200 now is like the new standard, right? If a, co a big old cup of coffee is a buck 40, why are you having an energy drink? You know, like you need yeah. a little kicker. Ooh, Papa! It smells very. That smells. Dude! Oh, wow. That low key hits. Hmm. So I got a big pet peeve. I love fruit. I really like fruit. Me too. Um, I love fruit. I hate that each fruit has a counterpart of fake fruit flavor. Yeah. And they're nothing the same. And they're chewy. That tastes like real peach. Mm. It doesn't really have that too much. No, I mean, it says no artificial sweeteners. And now yeah. I do believe it. Uh, it's fairly bubbly, which I do like. Mm -hmm. The peach tastes real. 200 migs is really good. Yeah. No weird beginning taste no weird aftertaste this thing kind of hits it's kind of refreshing like that uh, peach flavor yeah there is an insane amount of ingredients that always worries me a little bit but it, it looks like normal shit green tea extract rana which everyone talks shit on but who cares um yeah a little bit of color stuff biotin mm -hmm. sodium citrate all kind of normal stuff there is just a lot of it but that low-key is good mm -hmm. you taking that for your workout maybe that that tastes like real peach yeah that's really good I like that flavor. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Peach nectarine. I'm going to throw that at the top. What's our tiers? Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. I might go God tier. I don't know if we have this. No, these two are new that we added to the list because they're new in stores. I'll put it on God tier, too. 
That one tastes really good. Yes. We're going to old. Oh, this is a cola. I didn't mean to do that. We're going with Old Faithful Celsius. Celsius has been in the game a long, long time. I used to drink their original flavor. They only had one flavor, and it was like an orange mm -hmm. or a citrus. I didn't mean to grab a cola, so here we go. But I recently had another Celsius. Mm -hmm. I don't know what flavor, and I was highly disappointed. Mm -hmm. But back in the day, I swear it was delicious. Cola energy was, drink's a little weird. I didn't know it was around for that long. Yeah, well, pretty long time. Because you're old. And you've had I am old, and it was around during like the... Uh, Red Bull Monster era, and I would say this was the first one that um, kind of marketed to like health. Four flavors. Terrible. Now, see the issue when you go into the cola world is you're like making yourself fight Pepsi and Coke, which are two of the greatest things ever created in America. Yeah. So like, why would you throw your hat in the ring? You know what I mean? Like that's a mistake to even try cola. They tried. If you take Coke and Pepsi out of it, that's an okay cola, sure. But it tastes like, uh, what's the shit you got for a quarter? RC. I think it's like the healthy version. It is. Including green tea with EGCG, ginger, and corn. EGGG. I don't know what it is, but... Um, EGGG is at, a chemical in uh, green tea, I think. At first it does like, oh, it tastes like good. It's definitely then, not bad. But then it starts to get into that like medicinal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flavor? Uh, yeah, like a Robitussin deal. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's what hit me. Robitussin, I know you want you got me feeling right here, right here. Can you do that bloop screen where it has all the colors? <laughs> that was C Breezy? I have no In idea the what I'm talking about. You don't know who C Breezy is? No, I know, but like, that wasn't it. You know that song. All right. We need to cleanse our palate. That cola, oh, you didn't rank it. So Celsius, oh. have you had it? I have had it. And? I like it. Uh, better it's than decent. that? I think it's um, solid. I would say it's solid. Yeah, yeah. or okay. High-end okay, low-key solid. So let's get our sugar out the way. You've probably never had a NOS. I haven't. NOS was some old school shit. I've I used it. to really like the locale NOS. But again, this I'm talking like 2009 when I don't, I don't know, you know, my palate's all kinds of fucked up. Yeah. I was just discovering black coffee. This yeah. got 500, or sorry, uh, 50 grams of carbs. 500. This is like the most typical caffeine guarana, B12, make you piss fucking lightning yellow type of energy drink. Which good sometimes stuff. I feel like it's a good cleanse. Right. Sometimes your body needs to, you need to know what your organs are working with. And if you throw this in there and they can work, you know, sometimes you gotta rev the engine. That's how you rev your engine? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> a little fucking fuel injector clean. I've seen this when I was a kid. Oh, it's like a lime green color. Um, but Kinda I was a good, kid, dude. so I couldn't drink. Kind of good. I can feel it go all the way down. Not bad, right? Stop. You don't feel your kidneys just... It's good. No, it's good. Man, he does not need any more energy. No, that's good. Well, it's full calories. Yup. <laughs> that's not 200 good. 210. That's gonna get me fat. Mm. It doesn't taste bad. What, what flavor is this? No, see, that's the beauty. Yep. That's the beauty of 1990s, early 2000s energy drinks. Yeah. Monster, Red Bull, NOS. Spike original is the flavor. What flavor? Original. Exactly. It tastes like <gasps> Spike. fuel injector. Spike. Damn, Spike. We already know where that one sits. Rest in peace. Top of God tier. Rest in peace. Top of God Spike. tier. We yeah. couldn't get it in time. That made me so Spike sad. sponsor us. RIP Top God tier. Wow. Okay. They're not dead. Mm -hmm. They're alive. But yeah. they're just hard to find. This is pretty amazing, I would say. The NOS? Mm -hmm. You think it's amazing? Mm. Dang. I think it's good too. I do. I'll put that one amazing. I'm down. Sign I me like up. It. We'll go back to, what's the um, flavor on this? I don't know. No, that's it's what, Red Bull. Yeah, that's what I would equate this to. Yeah. I'm like, what flavor is Red Bull? No. I don't know, but I like it. I like it. I like Red Bull. It's engine uh, fuel injector and uh, uh, battery acid battery acid mix. Yes. There's not a single natural thing about that. <laughs> but I love it. And I love it. The only negative mm -hmm. on my boys at Red Bull, the original, formula we got here mm -hmm. i even love like they haven't really changed the can in 30 years i like it though their their logos iconic mm -hmm. they haven't had to rebrand tastes yummy mm -hmm. you know what you're getting the only knock 
not that much caffeine. Mm, yeah. And I feel like it's not that hard to change. I think this God tier. I love this. God stuff. tier. I love I'll, Red Bull. I'll, I'll throw it in there for the uh, for the nostalgia, oh, the iconicness, uh, and the in the in the longevity of the game. Oops. Is the actual flavor or caffeine God tier to me? Probably not. What? But it is old fucking faithful, and it's yeah. never let me down. I love it. Slamming, there's even bigger. There's a 16 ouncer. Slamming one of those Bro. on the Saturday after or the Wednesday after Call of Duty came out. Holy <laughs> fucking cow. You know? We're living. <laughs> I don't know it to that degree, but. Oh, we go way back, huh, buddy? Oh, buddy. Okay. So we also got a new Zesty. Red Bull on here. Uh, 41 grams of sugar. This is our only other sugared boy. And this is the Red Bull Blueberry Blue Edition. There's a red edition, a silver edition. I yeah. guess it's their their fruit things. Um, but this one's really supposed to vitalize the body and mind. Is that what it says? Yeah. The logo's still iconic. It is what it says. I don't really know what makes this different other than the can and flavor. I've never drank this before because when I want a Red Bull, I want a Red Bull like this. I, I, I just, now that they're sugar-free is the new norm, mm-hmm. um, that's all I drink. I assume similar caffeine. What are these? Like 100, 140, 114 milligrams. So very low. low. Yeah. Not it. Mm. It's like, it's fruity. But it's fake. It's blueberry. Is it fake? That's not, you take a handful of fresh blueberries, which I did. I took yesterday. artificially flavored. I took a handful of fresh blueberries straight to the dome. Mm. Just walking by the fridge. Yeah. And it tastes nothing like that. It doesn't taste like that. It doesn't even have that, like, typical blueberry artificial flavor. No, it's got its own. It has its own, which I, I still like that No, it's flavor. not bad. I like uh, the flavor, but... I'll throw it in a solid. Mm-hmm. If, you, if you're, you know... Yes, you're, I agree. You're on a little road trip. You got a little video game session with the boys and gals. You guys are trying to make it to Masters and fucking Apex, and you know you got a grind ahead of you. You can snag one of those and sip on it. Another Old Faithful, which I've actually um, changed my opinion on multiple times. One, I don't really like this uh, Viva La Bam fucking art going on. You know yeah. Viva La Bam? No, but I know it. The- Viva La Bam is uh, like a jackass type character at a show on MTV. And for some reason, he was really into like gothic French fucking art, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't like it either. Yeah, the art's kind of getting me. What I did enjoy about when this first came out 20 years ago is that it had texture on the can. I thought that was a nice detail on the art direction. It's pretty cool. And obviously, this was one of the very first, not very first, but early adapters to the low sugar deal. It's got six grams of sugar. I think the caffeine's low too. I think it's a buck 40. Yeah. Yeah, 140. This is a popular one. This, this is, is like, like the most popular. Right. This We drank this in this exact corner podcasting in 2011 making jokes about how small my white monster is you know a lot of people used to compare that to a squirt or maybe a uh, sprite type flavor i actually think it's too flavorful now Mm. yeah it's just not as good as you think it's so sweet and it's just not that good i've never loved it yeah and what flavor is that it's not I do enjoy that again, right? The no, what flavor? I don't know. <laughs> I've always enjoyed that too, but I think it's the white can. But you know, it's kind of for babies. Because of that, though, it's also too sweet. It it's is too, too sweet, sweet to be like what flavor is. And uh, another one for me, which you may enjoy, but I don't. It doesn't have enough bubbies. It's oh. too flat, like too syrupy. I think that almost adds to the sweetness. Yeah, because it coats your mouth. Yeah, I think if it had more bubbles, it'd actually fix it. That's why like Sprite is so good. Sprite's bubbly as shit. Yeah, I don't know why this is so, it's so sweet, but it's also zero sugar. All right, what are our rankings? I'll probably say average. You know, that's like your average ass, Solid. or okay. I'd say okay. I would say okay too. I yeah, guess. that's like your normal ass fucking monster energy. Now. I would choose any of these. Maybe over this. Yeah, I probably would too at this point. We'll go with the Alani. Alani's been out for a couple years now. Um, multiple, multiple flavors. Again, the branding is a little bit more feminine, perhaps a little bit more homey, a little bit more healthy, um, mm-hmm. a little bit more fun. Yeah. Where the the typical energy drinks like this hardcore vibe for whatever reason. Yeah. And I just really like the look of the juicy peel, or the juicy peach. Excuse me. <laughs> it says peel. I don't know why. Like a sticker. Yeah, but it's not. It's supposed to be like a yeah, but it's the cuteness of it. It is cute. I think it says vegan and all that nonsense. Three grams of carbs. See-through, so no like weird flavoring. Um, 
I think caffeine's fairly low in this guy, too. Is there a reason why you pop it open and then twist the thing to the right? That's pretty good. I don't know. Would we had another peach, right? Oh, the rain. I There's a peach soda back in the day that slapped. I forgot what it is, but these peaches are going pretty good. So, my dad had a friend. Mm, wait. This is... <laughs> This is more peach flavor, like natural peach flavor, than this one I hate. Sip it again, sip it again. This one? I think they're both pretty peachy, actually. They are both peachy, but... But like good peachy, not bad like peachy. Like when I bite into a peach, I taste yeah. more of this. Go, this. go, go. <laughs> I think they're pretty uh, neck and neck for me. Mm. You still? Mm -hmm. They're about the same to me. What? They don't taste the same, but they're both like naturally peachy. Yeah, yeah. They're not like super artificial peachy. Like C4. Cool. Um, kind of a new to the game, right? C4 energy uh, pre-workout's been a thing for a very long time. Used to be the go-to for the gym breast. Yeah. Uh, zero carb, uh, carnosine, beta power. This does make you a little itchy, mm -hmm. which I don't mind. Beta alanine does have a little bit of endurance benefits um, for lifters and for the gym. I went with the uh, Pink Starburst. I think it's amazing how far some of these companies have come that they're doing collaborations with like big candies. Big, yeah. I think that's cool. That is pretty cool. And they hit that flavoring right, right? Because they probably get some kind of recipe from them. So you kind of yeah. know what you're getting and it's pretty accurate because it's a legitimate. Oh, you can just smell it. The peach, the Starburst. Yeah, it smells like you opened up some fucking mm. Starburst. Mm -hmm. Starburst is pretty good. I haven't had a Starburst in a minute. Starburst is pretty underrated. What's your favorite Starburst flavor? Maybe the red guy. I Mine's red. Pink's pretty good, but probably the red guy. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's not as good as I remember. It has this um, Otter Pop taste. That? I yeah, think. kind of that syrup. I feel like Otter Pops are kind of syrupy like that. Mm. The beta alanine stuff does feel good. I used to drink these a little okay. bit. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I would say it's solid on the list. It's a little bit better than okay in terms of taste, I think, you know? Mm. But I, it, for me, it's uh, on the list, it's solid. What do you think? Bottom solid. Bottom solid, I'm down. And it, it, it's better than the monster. Now, caffeine uh, drinks have gotten so complicated. I feel like um, each company has like 20 flavors. Mm -hmm. So sh you may enjoy a company, but only like one flavor. Where back in the day, if yeah. you liked monster, you liked monster. Mm -hmm. Where now it's so intricate, which is cool. Uh, moving on to one of my OG favorites. Rockstar? The Rockstar Pure Zero. Okay. I've like, never had Rockstar. So I like original Rockstar. It's more of this battery acid taste, which I is delicious. Battery. Uh, yeah. It's got a gold and white can, and that's very unflavorful, mm -hmm. but very battery acid, but which I love. It's like ombre. It's this one is a little bit newer, maybe in the last 10 years. It was one of the first boys to come hard. 240 megs of caffeine. Um, and this flavor in particular mm -hmm. is a little jamba juice dancing on your fucking tongue. I also think rock stars are a little bubblier, uh, which is something I enjoy. That's That C4 is flatter than I remember. Mm -hmm. And again, just for me, and I understand some people are different where they, they like pre-workout because they make it all dense and it doesn't fill their tummy. I drink like half my pre-workout, or sorry, half an energy drink. Then I warm up and I sip the rest of the workout kind yeah. of, so it doesn't fill me up. But I do understand why people don't like 12 ounces of shit pre-workout. Yeah. I'm small. Which I get it. Um, just got a little bit of color in there. Probably artificial shit going on. But Have we got you? tangerine, mango, guava, strawberry. Have you had it? Yeah. I used to drink this every day. I've never seen this. It looks cool. It's good. I've never, it's, you don't see Rockstar around that much. Gas station, me. yeah. It's definitely fake fruit. What the heck? <laughs> Sorry, what? That bad? I'm so confused. There's a lot. There was so much going on. What did, there's eight There's eight yeah. fruits just in Tangerine, the title. Tangerine, mango, guava, strawberry. Yeah, I like that. That's a lot. Yeah, and what does it taste like? None of those. Just tastes like fake fruit. It just like someone threw fruit at me. Yeah, it just tastes like face fruit. You ever, speaking of Starburst or something, you ever grab or like Skittles and you just grab and go? It tastes like that. It does. No, it's like. Right? Said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if you took all Starburst flavors, unwrapped them and did one of these boys? Yes. It tastes like that. It does because you're like, what flavor is that? I don't know. All of them. All fake fruits. All of them at once. But it's not bad. You think it's bad? Try it. I bet you like it. Sebastian. I think you'll like it. We need um, a third person. It's so confusing. I'm about to go to bed, dude. I think I'm dead. Am I dying? Oh, it's not the guava science one. Very similar. Yeah. Zion's is a low-key hitter. Yeah. That one, the silver pure zero, is like uh, 
Again, another very fake squirt Sprite taste. So we're putting it here. So this one's very much by flavor for me. Like I was talking, that's kind of why I brought that up. This guava one, I'm putting in the solid or amazing, but the <gasps> other flavors, I would put in okay. Like okay. that silver one, I think is okay. It I tastes like this. I'm not drinking that. That silver one tastes just like this. Okay, I don't. With more caffeine. So now we're moving on to rain, which I feel like is a crowd favorite, but I've never, it never really caught my attention. I've purchased them, I've tried every flavor, um, and they never really screamed at me. I will say the rainbow sherbet is my favorite rain. Really? I don't know if I've had this one. That's why I grabbed it. Totally so good. three carb, I think we're up at the 200, 300 megs of caffeine because this is kind of a meathead deal. B vitamins, branch chains. <laughs> Uh, electrolytes uh increased concentration but 300 megs so this one is uh kicking that's crazy sweet you like that that just punched me in the mouth you know what that tastes like it is too sweet <laughs> um not as sweet in the way that the white monster no is. that but it's starting to hit there but it's yeah it's close no it just compared to other rain flavors i like uh, this one but it tastes like fucking Flintstones gummies. They put like, way too much vitamin B and shit in there. Yeah, it's very artificial too. Very. Especially when you compare it to all, some of these other ones, like you really taste the difference between like uh, yeah. the fake sugars yeah. and then the uh, whatever. This might hurt some folks, but I'm putting that in the okay. I think it's okay. You all gotta drink these other ones. And when you're drinking it next to each other, yeah. everything is like, it stands out. Yeah, you can tell, for You can sure. tell, but if you're drinking it What they off, need to do is out. have a spike and spike sponsor us. Cause I still, and obviously it's easy to say cause it's in memory and not in physical, but I think spike's the best. I think I like the flavor. Taste, the energy, everything. Yeah. Energy wise, it was a- Spike. Oh. Do you guys remember when I started drinking them here? Yeah. And I'm like, you guys got me hooked and I'm like cracked out. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. That's you're kind welcome. of You're welcome why, for your success. It's very nostalgic. No. Well, then you took it away from me. So because like, no one was buying them because people don't understand. Oh. Every person I had try mine or try one loved it. So maybe we'd have to like sample it like we're Costco to get people to buy them. Yeah. Which we could do. But we're not sponsored, so we're not. Right, so we're not. But once you want to sponsor me. Sponsors. Ghost <laughs> Energy, I feel like, is the newest cat on the block. They have a lot of collaborations with people. Which is so really cool. they started in the supplement game. So they made these business connects. They're already doing successful. And then they made the energy drink. And now I feel like, right? They're the newest company out of these. Maybe Jocko. He might be. But they're in the same category newer. This is very commercial, very big brand. Probably find it at Costco type ship now. Mm -hmm. Like they're crushing it. Shout out to them and Ryan who I've known for a long time. Very colorful cans. Branding's good. It's fun, but not fun. It's serious, but not serious. Um, this one's a Warhead collab, which isn't my favorite. I don't know what my favorite is. I know. Oh, Cherry Limeade. Cherry, cherry Limeade is really good. Cherry Limeade Ghost, absolute, may, probably would god be in the tier. god tier. God um, tier. <laughs> again, they have so many flavors though, so shout out to them for making the effort. Uh, there is probably a flavor you're gonna like. I think another 250, 400 megs, or 300 megs. Oh, 200, that's a little low. Uh, carnitine. Alpha GPC, which is one of my favorites. It's got 150 megs versus one of these guys only at 100. Uh, Neurofactor, I think that's made up. Um, and so here we go. That's surprising. I will say it's cool that each of their flavors are different too. Like they don't all taste the same. Very different. Some like brands will do that. They kind of like all have the same flavor. Yeah, you could blind flavor. taste test every Monster Red Bull and probably know it's a Monster Red Bull. Mm -hmm. Even though you may like it, they do kind of taste alike. I'm not a Warhead guy. I'm not a huge sour guy. But they do nail the taste. Whether you like it or not, they nail it. They do, yeah. That's sour apple candy, 1 billion percent. Yeah. Um, Blind taste test, you could taste all the flavors. Yeah. It's also like creamsicle, orange creamsicle. Yeah, unique. And they, they nail their flavors. Again, whether you like them or not, that's up to you. But they do nail what they say they are. Yeah. Um, probably even better than the C4. I agree. I In agree. terms of nailing the flavor, general taste, they are a little bubblier, which I like. Mm -hmm. For me, Ghost right now in the game is the best energy drink. I thought that Ghost was um, too sweet, but drinking some of these, I realized it's not as sweet as I thought it was. Some of them are even worse. Yeah, some are uh, rain. Yeah. I don't know what y'all are drinking or thinking, but I don't think rain's it. All right, we're like putting that. Ghost. Oh. Ghost. Let's just do Ghost because we know the other flavors. I'm going to put it in God tier as of right now. Ghost is God tier? I think so. What do you um, think? In my head. If How about Cherry Limeade? If it's like, yeah, if it's cherry lemonade, I'm putting it up there. Right. Where are right. you putting ghost? Well, we said God tier. If it's I did, lemonade. but where were you putting it? If it's cherry lemonade, I'm putting it up well, there. Okay, how about ghost. this guy? It's not bad. Um, I think it's solid. Solid. Yeah, this is probably my least favorite flavor, that's and it's thing. still solid. Yeah, that's the thing with like 
It's, it t- depends on the flavor. Yeah, because they do. They're so different, right? Yeah. You take a creamsicle versus this mm-hmm. versus cherry limeade. Cherry limeade, a cold cherry limeade on a hot day. Oh, I'm excited. Slap a It's really good. We got to keep getting that one. Yeah, we will. Um, ladies and gentlemen, let me know if you enjoy this type of content. The cheer list for the meatheads, the raw reviews with Abby Lou, Abby.Lou on Instagram. I'm Salamike3SB.co for all your clothing needs every day we're dropping new content so three big videos a week a couple tier lists a couple vlogs a couple shorts be sure to turn on notifications and subscribe appreciate you guys so much we over me be a part of something bigger yourself so i'm michael catch you in the next one